2012 was a year of challenge and upheaval for millions of children. Floods in Pakistan and the Philippines. Violent conflict in Syria and Gaza. The Sahel hit yet again by deadly drought. But all the while, UNICEF was there responding to the most critical needs of children in crisis. And around the world, we work with our partners to deliver results for the most vulnerable children, for their survival, their education, and their protection. It was a year of renewal, progress, and exciting innovation. Here are some of the highlights of 2012. We are all here today with one vision, to make sure every child everywhere lives to see his or her fifth birthday, to eliminate preventable child death in a generation. This is a great day for education. It's a great day for the United Nations. Most of all, it's a great day for the children of the world. What this report does is it takes the same analytical lens and applies it to the cities, not to take any focus away from the, the countryside, but to establish that inequality exists in plain view. One of the most exciting developments we've seen in 2012 is the ability for country offices to work to bring together young people, academia, private sector, and technologists around some of the most innovative solutions to the world's most pressing problems. All children have the right to feel valuable and everybody has a shot, but not everybody has a fair shot. So I think what UNICEF does is they try to make the shot a little more equal. We have these very simple, highly effective products that cost in many cases less than 50 cents and can save the lives of hundreds of thousands of children and mothers and we're not getting them out to those in need. When we talk about an AIDS-free generation, I think we really need to address the fact that a new generation free of HIV, free of AIDS, must begin with children. Children, mothers, fathers. We've come so far together, all of us. We have the means to finish the job, and if we do not make history and eradicate polio in the coming months and years, then history, rightly, will judge us very, very harshly. And to all of you who have helped us change the lives of children this year, thank you.